What's going on everybody? Welcome back and in the next series of videos we're going to be diving back into the Q50. So if you've been following along the channel you'll know that the Q50 pretty much started everything for me and with the Genesis now being my primary driver and my daughter taking over the reins of the Q50 I wanted to start cleaning it up and making it better than it was before just for her. That starts with a couple upgrades to the front end. So you'll remember I had a fiberglass front bumper for the car and I ended up selling it to uh, Jado Customs, a buddy of mine named Josh. Um, his link will be in the description. He actually had the car painted and wrapped and it looks amazing. So I highly suggest you go out and check his car out. This is the premium bumper that I have right now. And I was going to initially swap this bumper out too because as you can see, it does have broken tabs. It has cracks and everything else from the years of use that I've put into it and the years of previous ownership have put into it. But I decided if I'm going to have my 16 year old drive this car, <laughs> there's no sense in buying a brand new bumper or a fiberglass bumper for that matter for her to potentially destroy. So what we're going to do is we're going to make the premium bumper look as mint as we can on a budget. Remember in a couple years ago, I made this uh, hexagonal grill insert because I didn't like the slack grill that came with the premium bumper. Uh, since that time, they've now developed a replica sport grill that actually fits the premium bumper. So I went ahead and picked that up. We're going to go ahead and we're going to put that on the car to get rid of the old faded hexagonal grill that I installed in 2020. Additionally, I also picked these up. These are pretty cool. They are ABS molded lost black fog surrounds and I don't have to wrap anything. I just slip them in the car in place of the other ones and they're good to go. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and pop this fog lights out, pop that old grill out, get these installed and talk about it. Value wise, fitment, and if all goes well, the links for these products will be in the description for you guys to pick up as well. So, installation. Um, if you have the NIS front lip, it's a little harder to get the fog inserts in, mainly because the old ones dip in behind the NIS lip and it's hard to get them out. So I had to use a plastic pry tool on the backside to get inside these little lips to pull this portion of the lip out, that factory one out, and get the new one back in. So if you have the NIS lip, it's gonna be a little harder to, to replace these than if you have just a standard front lip that goes under the bumper. If you don't like the way the mesh look is these were 35 or 36 dollars for the set and this gloss black piece here in the center is removable so you could actually remove this put it on your factory housing to black it out and i don't have to worry about vinyl so depending on how much you want to spend that would be a good idea as well the middle insert it clipped right in uh, you got to start on a corner and then work your way around because it does flex 
and bow into the bumper as you go. First, I thought it was not going to fit until I realized you have to start on one end and work your way across, otherwise it's not going to clip in properly. But overall, man, I'm loving it. Looks really good and it matches the upper grill perfect. Like it is the exact pattern. So super happy with that. I would put it on the car, but like I said, I have another project that I'm working on. Um, I'm not going to tell you what it is, but if you could think of a reason why I would need my fog housings to be ventilated, that might give you a good understanding or an idea of what I'm working on next. Just think about that and drop in the comments if you think you know what I may be doing. So with that said, overall, it's about $95 in parts. Uh, you can buy these from companies together for 101 plus, or you can source them separately on eBay like I did. The links that I use to get these will be in the description. And uh, again, I highly recommend them. And that's going to be it for this one. So I will see you all again on the next one. Later.